yes you can create a, a video from microsoft powerpoint slides and you can do this without any video recording equipment whatsoever you don't need any cameras any video recording cameras or any tapes or any all that stuff all you need are just microsoft powerpoint slides they could be just basic slides or slides with advanced features like animation all what you need is to modify them properly do them properly test them properly present them properly and rehearse them properly once you are ready you use a small function within microsoft powerpoint and it creates the video out of the powerpoint slides almost instantly to create uh, a video from microsoft powerpoint slides you just need to open uh, microsoft powerpoint the normal way or just look for your file if you've already saved the file in whichever folder you have saved it in my case i've saved my file on the desktop so i look for a file on the desktop and there it is so i double click on it and it is open you can see it's a simple file with simple basic slides is the three slides the first one was the cover slide then the second one containing offices and the third slide containing uh, products uh, they, they have included some bit of uh, animation but not too much of it and uh, once you open the file you make sure that you edit it finally and make sure that if there are any modifications to do you finalize them once you finalize the modifications you check for file which is on the top corner top left corner on the top ribbon and uh, file you look for export uh, among the sub menu that comes up there is an item called export so you click on export once you click on export you get uh, other options under export there you need to look for create a video you look for create a video then once you find create a video just click on create a video and then you have some other three decisions to make one regards the quality of the video the second one regards uh, whether you need to use narration or not and the third one is uh, how much time are you allocating to each slide for quality you have three options you have the presentation quality which is the highest uh, quality you can have you have the internet quality which is a medium quality and you have the low quality i would uh, recommend and actually use the presentation quality which gives you uh, the best quality you can have though it is going to create a bigger file uh, as far as uh, using recorded timing is concerned uh, my slides have some uh, timings and uh, animations so I need to use the, the the timings but if your slides don't have just use the don't use the recorded timing and then that will be fine and uh, finally on this last decision about uh, how much time you are going to allocate to each slide each slide that doesn't have any timing you need to mention the timing it should use the default is that it uses uh, five seconds but you can increase this time depending on whether you need to use more or not or you can actually reduce it to something uh, below uh, the five seconds that is the default uh, once you've done all that you need to click on the last button which is uh, the button about uh, creating the video so just click on create video once you click there, uh, PowerPoint is going to ask you uh, in which folder you want to save the video. Uh, if you don't change it, it is going to be the same folder as where the PowerPoint slides were saved. It will also ask you what name to use. In my case, I'm using a desktop, so my, my video is going to go to the desktop. So you can also change the name or leave the name so it will be the same name as what was in the powerpoint slides you click on save and then uh, the saving process starts uh, the same process start by showing you a progress bar at the bottom to show you that is creating the video and to show a progress bar at the bottom 
uh, give it time you can cancel it by uh, clicking on the x near the progress bar but uh, give it time uh, we are not going to cancel it we are going to let it run to the end uh, the time it takes is determined by how complex the slides are whether they are basic or whether they have a lot of timing and have a lot of animation whether they have a lot of pictures and graphics that will determine how much time it's going to take to create the video well once the video creation is uh, completed you'll see that the progress bar will simply disappear once it disappears you can uh, close powerpoint or exit it and go and check whether the file was actually created the progress bar has disappeared so we can go and check for our file once the video creation progress bar disappears it indicates that the video has been created you need to check the folder where you created it to see that it was created in my case i uh, said it should be created on the desktop so i check on the desktop i can see a video file there uh super cool close uh, demo limited company profile that is my video which was created but i need to be sure that it was created properly so i click on it to run it and uh, you can see that it is actually running the three slides as i showed you before uh, the first slide was uh, opening the second one is just offices you can see it is showing all the offices as had been included in the slide number two and of course uh, you have uh, slide number three which was about the products you can see the products as indicated in the company profile are being shown in the slide meaning that actually the video was created properly uh, thank you for your attention uh, thank you very much for watching this video and for visiting the super cool cruise youtube channel please remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed subscription is free and please come and visit again and view more videos thank you very much